hi guys welcome back to today's vlog and today we're actually going to be vlogging us uh going on a tour so i'm in new orleans i came to new orleans for my birthday trip your girl turned 25 <laughs> so yeah i came for a birthday trip uh, with my husband my sister my cousin friends you know we're having a good time so we are going on the tour the guy is right here so Exciting. <laughs> Early 1800s, people live there. Mm -hmm. They don't like when they lean on their buildings, okay? Um, if you smoke or vape, please do that on the table. And one more thing. Um, okay. Put it in front of somebody, somebody taps them on the shoulder, they turn around, nobody there. That keeps happening. Sometimes the bowls. <laughs> I thought you said it's four chair. I only see zero chair. Museum, built in 1972. Art for Voodoo Authentica. It's an app. Snell of Voodoo. His name is Papa Legba. Papa Legba's got one foot in the spiritual world, one foot in the material world. And what his role is, they kind of turned a blind eye to it. When the Americans got here, no way. They, they outlawed Voodoo. To open them up and let the uh, medical experts use them as uh, like patient hospitals. Many children died in these buildings. We don't know how many. Well, these children like to haunt these buildings and these old hotels mercilessly. Oh, wow. Now, we don't know why this is, um, but most of the- uh, These are the hotels. Have, so they tend to be little boys. We don't hear a lot of stories about little girl ghosts, unfortunately, okay? But, a lot of boy ghosts. Okay, so the Andrew Jackson Hotel has, uh, right on cue, has a very interesting history. Uh -huh. What you're looking at has been either a hotel or a boarding house for at least 130 years. Wow. Prior to that, this was our courthouse. And prior to that, from the 1760s until 1788, there was a four-story orphanage that used to stand here. Boys seven to 17 years, boys perished in that original building. Now we only have the story of, or the name of one boy. His name was Armand. He was 17 years old. He was on the fourth floor of that old building. Uh -huh. And to avoid his death, he jumped to, or to avoid the fire, he jumped to his death right here in this street where we're standing. Uh -oh. By the way, these are the original street setups in 1718. Hasn't changed. Mm. So these boys, again, like to haunt this hotel mercilessly. Now, does everybody see the hotel next to the Fort Scott Dunn? Yes. The white building. See how far down it goes? Mm -hmm. the Fort, this hotel does the same. It goes really far down. A lot larger than it actually appears. Mm -hmm. The most haunted uh, floor in this hotel is the second floor. The most haunted room, room 208 so in the back of the hotel. Now, the first two hauntings I'm going to describe to you might happen to you, though, in any uh, historic uh, hotel you stay in in the French Quarter. It is between 3.30 and 4 in the morning. You are awoken by a loud knock on the door. Now, mm. listen, I don't know about y'all, but if someone wakes me up at 4 in the morning knocking on my hotel door, Loudly, I'm 17, 18, and 1900. Her first book, Interview with a Vampire, became a, a blockbuster film in the mid-90s starring Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, and a little girl named Kirsten Dunst, and Antonio Banderas, okay? After that movie came out, vamp um, so mo most historians believe that not only most was she the richest in woman the in town, probably the richest person here for quite a few years, okay? Wow. When she was 42 years old, she met, fell in love, and married a 28-year-old surgeon. Dr. Leonard Lawlery. Boy, did that create a scandal. No cougars in those days, people. That didn't happen. Okay, in 1830, they had this gigantic ma uh, mansion built. Everybody look at that third floor for a minute. There are rumors and gossip about the Lawleries, and most of that centers around one thing. What is happening to the Lawlery slaves? Now, let me explain something to you. Slave Literally where she fell to her death. All right, so any questions? about the Lawlery Mansion. Horrible story, right? Mm -hmm. Horrible. Okay, wow. get your picture. Originals um, house. They have a scene here in the movie. Or oh, series. <laughs> that, that doesn't tell you what wrong is all about. Nothing wrong. Now listen, one of the things the pirates were... 2007, it became legal once again to sell the European liqueur called Absinthe. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the hunter tour I took you guys on. Um, it was very enlightening. I learned a lot about New Orleans history. So if you come to New Orleans, definitely try these tours. You know, they say it's an hour and a half to two hours long, but like you learn so much throughout the tour that you don't really feel like 
that you're walking that much you know so definitely check it out if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up also comment down below any other type of video you would like to see next i'll make sure i film those for you if you're not subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button down below it is free if you're a returning subscriber you already know it is all love thank you so much for the love and support i truly truly appreciate you guys after that tour we went home rested a bit and then went out to party because you guys know we came here for my birthday once again so yeah you guys um I'm literally filming in a different setting. There's so many stories that I'm coming for you guys just from this trip alone. So yeah, stay tuned. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The link will be in the description box down below for your convenience. I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.